Hello, I'm Patricia Levesque, and I'm the Executive Director of the Foundation for Excellence in Education. The quality of education in America has fallen behind. Other countries are doing a better job of preparing their students with the knowledge and skills they need to succeed in college and in their careers. Education in America is built around the adults in the system, not the students. We believe that all children can learn. Our country's future is dependent on the quality of education today. Our mission at the Foundation for Excellence in Education is to ignite a movement of reform, state by state, that will transform education for the 21st century. We're an education policy organization working to transform state education systems to be student-centered, that equip every child to achieve his or her fullest potential, regardless of zip code, ethnicity, or income level. We support governors, lawmakers, policymakers, and state-based education groups as they initiate policies to implement reforms to transform education. Our policy agenda is very broad because we know from experience there's no such thing as a silver bullet. There are many components of a high-quality education. States must have data-driven accountability measures, rigorous academic standards that require all students to master basic reading skills before entering the fourth grade, while also ensuring that every student is college or career ready. Educational choices must be for every parent, regardless of their zip code or salary level. Parents must have a voice in deciding where their children will attend school. A high-quality education system recognizes that how money is spent is just as important as how much is spent. And we believe that great leaders and great teachers are critical to student progress and achievement. Thanks to technology, we now have the ability to customize education to meet each student's individual needs and transform education for the 21st century. And that too requires replacing antiquated education policies with ones that integrate technology into the classroom for the benefit of all teachers and students. Success is never final, so reform is never finished. Our commitment to supporting individual states doesn't end with the passage of a bill or a rule. We assist institutions during the implementation process and work with their leaders year after year to adopt and sustain prior reforms. When education is personalized and schools are held accountable, learning and achievement will skyrocket. Then each and every student will be prepared to succeed. Helping every state transform their education system is our mission, and we'd love to have your support to fulfill it. The quality of each state's education policies is the driver in America's future success and in the personal success of every child. The Foundation for Excellence in Education was launched in 2008 with the mission of igniting a movement of reform state by state to transform education for the 21st century. We're a K-12 education policy-focused organization and we do our work state by state. We draw upon a decade of experience under the leadership of Jeb Bush, our founder and chairman. During his time as Florida's governor, he advanced a series of reforms that propelled Florida from the bottom in the nation in student performance to the top tier. We have the expertise and credibility to advise on reforms that really work. We have a decade of data on student performance to prove the effectiveness of the reforms, and we expand our agenda each year to meet student needs. Our primary objective is to ensure that state education systems are focused on student learning. We do this by working state by state in developing, adopting, implementing, building, and protecting education reforms, then bringing success to scale. Our policy agenda includes high college and career ready standards, transparent and rigorous school level accountability, focus on getting K-3 reading right, if not, children will struggle the rest of their education career. We need to unleash the power of great teachers and leaders. 
we must stop funding education based on how much time a student sits in the classroom and instead focus on how much he or she actually learns. And finally, we must adopt policies that give parents choices now. We have several tools that we leverage successfully. First of all is our expertise. Our leadership and staff have vast education reform experience across all levels of state government. We advise and work within states from the conception of reform through the critical implementation phase. Our board of directors represents a broad spectrum of political ideologies, a unified reform focus, and national experience in the education reform arena. We believe that there's no single solution to creating a student-centered education system. We work state by state in developing, adopting, implementing, building, and protecting education reforms, then bringing success to scale. These policies include high college and career ready standards, transparent and rigorous school level accountability, focus on getting K-3 reading right. If not, children will struggle the rest of their education career. We need to unleash the power of great teachers and leaders. We must stop funding education based on how much time a student sits in the classroom and instead focus on how much he or she actually learns. And finally, we must adopt policies that give parents choices now. All reforms are designed to bring about learning gains for all students, especially minorities and underserved children. Another leverage point is our comprehensive engagement system. We bring together all entities that are focused on reform within a state, whether they are center left or center right, to come together to advance reforms that will transform education. We are effective for many reasons. First of all, we have the experience, data, and expertise to guide and assist state leaders and advocacy groups as they develop, adopt, and implement reforms. Our National Summit on Education Reform enhances the development of policy. This is an annual opportunity we make available for lawmakers, policymakers, and advocacy groups to learn what works, what doesn't, and what's next in education reform. We're always looking to improve and build the next generation of reforms. Digital Learning Now is our national initiative that defines how education should look in the digital age and provides state leaders with tangible steps to integrate technology and digital learning into classrooms. Additionally, in Digital Learning Now, we've embraced the power of technology to transform how our children learn and our teachers teach. But the heart of our work is state advocacy and implementation that helps states to adopt reforms. This includes expert testimony, communications assistance, and provision of research and multimedia resources. Implementation can make or break the success of reform. That's why we work closely with departments of education. Department leadership and commitment is critical. This phase is most enhanced by our work with Chiefs for Change a coalition of reform-minded state education leaders who are an example of how state chiefs can lead reform. They also serve as thought leaders, mentors to other chiefs, and a voice for how the federal government can support the state's pursuit of improving quality education. We provide states with toolkits to assist with each phase of development, advocacy, and implementation. The development toolkits include model legislation, data-driven research, white papers, and frequently asked questions. Advocacy toolkits include talking points, opinion editorials, letters to the editor, and multimedia resources. And finally, implementation toolkits include model rules, a rollout schedule to guide the implementation process, and letters to the editor. We measure our success by the numbers of states moving reform across America. A decade ago, only Florida graded schools A through F. Today, six states also use this scale. Since the foundation's launch in 2008, 
more than half the states have adopted reforms aligned with our policy agenda. And every year, we work to protect the reforms that are in place to ensure that no one turns back the clock on the improvements that have already been made. We also measure our state's progress based on the performance of their students on national and state standardized tests. Many people don't realize that we have a national focus. We're a national organization focused on education policy reform state by state. Florida was our test state, but increasingly our reform portfolio includes experiences and improvements made in other states as well. We also advocate a suite of reforms. Unlike other education organizations, we support a number of education policy reforms that together can create a tremendous learning environment for students. We work collaboratively with many other groups, such as national single issue groups whose views align with our work and in-state groups who are responsible for leading the education reform charge within their own states. All are important and must work together to achieve results. And finally, Many people don't know that we cross all political party lines. We aren't a Republican or a Democrat organization. Our leadership and work encompasses all political parties, especially center-left and center-right groups within states. We are a game changer. We've brought national attention to what can be done to reform America's education system, and we're constantly engaging an increasing number of states. And we're innovators. In one year, we successfully launched and are building two major new programs. Chiefs for Change is a coalition of the nation's most reform-minded state education leaders, and Digital Learning Now is a national initiative to transform teaching and learning through the effective use of technology. Both programs have the power to greatly enhance our work within the states. Many think reform is an event, not a process. Education reform is hard and requires bold action. It's not always popular or understood. It requires development, adoption, and implementation. The opportunity for education reform constantly changes and therefore requires constant analysis and strategy change. Reform is never final, and implementation is a crucial step in advancing it. Poorly timed implementation puts reform at risk of being altered or rescinded in the next legislative session. To effectively meet the growing demand of the education reform movement, additional funding would allow us to increase our staff positions to cover requests from interested states. It would also help us to create a stable base of funding to meet this demand year after year as our resources and services become more widely known throughout the country. And finally, additional funds would allow us to grow our new programs, like Chiefs for Change and Digital Learning Now, that have created new demands and hold tremendous promise to transform education. As our work progresses, so do the demands for information and service. Some of the new programs we would launch include a Foundation Fellows Program that identifies and secures funding for top talent to work within states to implement reforms. We'd like to develop Common Core Implementation Assistance. These are key communication and methodology sharing programs that include data, key messaging for all stakeholders, and best practices sharing among states. We'd like to further explore teacher evaluation methods that target performance by conducting research about what's working and then developing communication about our results. And finally, we'd like to hold regional summits on education reform 
to enhance learning and idea sharing among states stemming from our National Summit on Education Reform.